All right, I have a picture here for you of a stylized atom. And I think it's really important to acknowledge very openly and honestly, I love this stylized atom. I think it looks really cool, maybe even tattoo worthy, but that's not how they look. That is a depiction of an atom that we know of because really, we can't see these things. Even though there are some people who say, I've taken a picture of a single atom, there are scientists who have imaged what they say are individual atoms. And I look at the picture and I go, sure, I believe you. The pictures that we have of atoms certainly don't look like this. And you can't see your subatomic particles in those atoms. You can't see where they are. You can't see how they relate to each other. And so don't forget, don't, um, don't assume that this picture is what they actually look like. It's just a representation to help us remember the structures. The fact is that there is a kernel in the middle of every atom, and I'm just going to circle it here, and it's called the nucleus. I want to say out loud, the word nucleus has many meanings in science. I can think of three. The center of an atom is called a nucleus. The center of a cell is called a nucleus. And a group of cell bodies, neuron cell bodies in the central nervous system is called a nucleus. Super important to sort of be aware that we are going to encounter um, multiple uses of this word. But nucleus, the nucleus of an atom refers to its center. And the nucleus of an atom is made up of two things. It has a <clears throat> proton. In this case, you can't tell what is a proton or a neutron. I could have picked either the gray particles or the reddish particles to label as the proton. There's no way for you to tell that. I would have to give you more information for you to know. But you do know that if I labeled the red particle as a proton, then the gray particle is going to be something else. And that's actually a neutron. I think neutron is just a U, N-U-T-R-O-N. But it might be N-E-U. I don't know. I got to go look it up. N-E-U, it is. Oh, goodness. N-E-U-T-R-O-N. And then I just made an M at the end and I can't find my eraser. There, how's that? We got there, it's a neutron. Neutrons and protons are found in the nucleus. We're gonna look at each of these particles separately. Neutrons have a neutral charge. Neutron, neutral. Protons have a positive charge. And then you'll notice that we have particles like surrounding and orbiting the nucleus and those are our electrons. And our electrons have a negative charge. So these are, that's it. When you look at the anatomy of something, if I give you four parts to know, you will know soon that that's glorious. Like, oh my gosh, there's only four things that we have to know on this. We're gonna take a look at each one of those subatomic particles and have some applications and see why they matter um, in the next three pieces of this lecture.